Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about another fun and interesting topic, namely figures of speech. This is a special video for Key Stage 2, hosted by Jenin and Jinit. So let's begin. What are figures of speech, Jenin? A figure of speech is a word or phrase that possesses a separate meaning from its literal definition. Mm-hmm. It can be a metaphor or simile designed to make a comparison. It can be the repetition of alliteration or the exaggeration of hyperbole to provide a dramatic effect. A description might also be multisensory, which means it will appeal to more than one sense. See, hear, feel, taste and smell. Brilliant, General. That was impressive. Now, let's move on to some types of figures of speech. Number one. What are similes, Jenil? When the writer finds similar characteristics in two things and compares them, it is known as a simile. It directly compares two things. Similes differ from other metaphors by highlighting the similarities between two things. The words like or as are used in similes. Some examples of similes are as below. The soldiers on the battlefield were as brave as a lion. Janelle and Janet fought like cats and dogs. Tina is as funny as a barrel of monkeys. John's house is as clean as a whistle. Tom is as strong as an ox. Really good, Janelle. Now let's move on to metaphors. What are metaphors, Janelle? Metaphors are a comparison between things, but unlike similes, the words like and as are not used. It directly refers to one thing by mentioning another. It may provide clarity or identify hidden similarities between two ideas. Metaphors are often compared with other types of figurative language, such as antithesis, hyperbole, metonymy, and simile. Well done, Jenin. Now let's move on to some examples. Number one. The snow is a white blanket. Number two, he's a shining star. Number three, Tom's eyes were ice as he stared at her. Number four, the falling snowflakes are dancers. Number five, the calm lake was a mirror. Really good, Jenna. Now let's move on to personification. What is personification, Jenna? Personification is a figure of speech in which a thing an idea or an animal is given human attributes. The non-human objects are portrayed in such a way that we feel they have the ability to act like human beings and they want to give human characteristics to a non-human being. Mm-hmm, really good. Some examples of personification are as below. Lightning dance across the sky. Number two. The wind howled in the night. Number three, the car complained as the key was roughly turned in its ignition. Number four, Ryan heard the last piece of pie calling her name. Number five, the children cautiously entered the yawning cave. So, all of these non-living things are given human qualities, which is personification. Now, let's move on to alliteration. What is alliteration, Jenna? Alliteration is a term to describe a literally device in which a series of words begin with the same consonant sound. Brilliant, Jenna. Now let's see some examples of alliteration. Number one. A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Wow, that was funny. Number two. The big bad bear scared all the baby bunnies by the bushes. <laughs> Funny, ain't it? Number three. Shut the shutters before the banging sound makes you shudder. Go and gather the green leaves on the grass. And the last one is please put away your paints and practice the piano. Really good. Now let's move on to onomatopoeia. What is onomatopoeia, Jenna? The definition of onomatopoeia is a poetic structure of words to convey how something sounds. An example of onomatopoeia is a poem about a stream written in a way to imitate 
the sound of a street. Onomatopoeia is defined as a word that sounds like the common sound of the object it is describing. Some examples of onomatopoeia are as below. Machine noises, honk, beep, room, clang, zap, boing. Really good. Animal names, cuckoo, whip, poorwill, whooping, crane, chickadee. Impact sounds, boom, crash, whack. Thump, bang. Mm-hmm. Sounds of the voice. Shh, giggle, growl, whine, murmur, blurt, whisper, hiss. Last one, nature sounds. Splash, drip, spray, whoosh, buzz, rustle. These are extremely important while writing a poem. Next slide. It's about hyperbole. What are hyperbole, Janel? Hyperbole is an exaggeration used for emphasis or humour. This literally tool is often used to make a certain element of a story seem more interesting. To say you were bored to tears even when you were never on the verge of crying packs a bit more of a punch than I was bored. Mm -hmm. Interesting, ain't it? Some examples of hyperbole are as below. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. <laughs> Funny. She's as old as it is. <laughs> I walked a million miles to get here. <laughs> she can hear a pin drop a mile away. Last one. I died of embarrassment. Oh, funny, ain't it? We hope you like this video. Don't forget to share, yeah. like, subscribe and thank you for watching. Goodbye!